Hi, it's Rachel and today I'm going to film a haul for you. It actually, I think I'm going to film it in two parts. So this will be the first video and then, sorry, the lighting's just changed. And then there'll be a second video because I just have a bunch of stuff. It's a collective haul so I didn't just go out and buy this all at once. And some things I have gotten from stores online that have just sort of shown up in the last week and other things I purchased in store. So basically, just to clarify, I work full time so I purchased these things all all by myself and with my own money, just in case anyone was wondering. And I think I'll start with the drugstore products in this particular video. So I went to Priceline, which is one of the, uh, I guess, chain drugstore chemists, pharmacies, shops, um, whatever you want to call it, in Australia. And the first thing that I purchased was a shampoo and conditioner. Now, I like to sort of change up my shampoo and conditioners. Sometimes I'll use sort of the high-end sort of salon brands, but I find that that doesn't really help my hair that much. I might use more expensive treatments, but when it comes to shampoo and conditioner, um, I don't necessarily need to buy the high-end brand kind of things because I don't feel like it makes much difference in my hair. I have really oily hair, so I generally have to wash it every single night but I also have very damaged dry ends. So I have oily roots, very damaged dry ends because of the constant straightening and curling and blow drying because I have to wash it so regularly. So because of the oily roots I wanted to get a clarifying shampoo so I decided to try the Pantene and it's the Pantene Pro-V clarifying shampoo which removes build up and residue. So basically I think these ones are supposed to be um, it doesn't actually say, but generally like with clarifying shampoos and things, you're supposed to sort of use them once or twice a week. I tend to probably use these almost every day. I might mix it up and generally if I'm sort of switching out um, shampoo and conditioners, I come back to Herbal Essences because I really do like their stuff and it smells really nice. But I wanted to give this a try. I think I have tried it before, but I thought I'd come back to it. So I bought that. However, I did buy a different brand conditioner. So the conditioner I got was the hydrotherapy conditioner from the Andrew Collinge, Collinge, Collinge. I don't actually know how to pronounce the name, the Purity Collection. So it looks like this here. Sorry, it's going to be hard because it's white and my light is going to blow it out. But basically, I have seen um, and heard a little bit about this one. So I really wanted to give it a try. And it's it's for dry, damaged hair. So I never put conditioner in my roots anyway. So hopefully it will help help the ends of my hair. And it says it nourishes, nourishes, softens, and restores shine. So if you want to sort of hear a review on that, I'll, um, I'll let you know how it goes. But I really want to try it and... It sort of has a really nice smell too. It's it's sort of it's fresh and it's almost sort of I don't know. It smells green. I know a smell doesn't smell green, but to me, for some reason, it just it smells green. Yeah. So you can see how great I am at describing scents. <laughs> the next thing I got was also a hair product, and it is the Fructus um, Garnier Fructus Thermo Active Curl Control. So basically, I think from what I can see, it's heat heat activated and nourishes for perfectly defined curls. So it's basically like a heat protectant but it also has a uh, um, it has a semi strong hold so it's almost like putting a little bit of hairspray and it's supposed to help your curls um, hold. Now I know that there's a, a uh, what's the brand? Tresemme. There's a Tresemme version of this in their uh, heat protectant thermal protectant range but it's not out in Australia for some reason. I had a look around in a few stores and I couldn't see it so I thought I'd try the Garnier um, Fructus version of this. I really do like these products and I love the smell of all the Fructus products. They just smell really 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 nice so I'm looking forward to giving that a try. Uh, the next thing I got was a face mask and this is the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Facial Peel Off Mask in Cucumber. So it's actually really cool. I don't use a lot of masks generally because I find that um, masks, because I draw sort of the impurities out of your skin, I end up sort of breaking out afterwards, which is, is never fun. And I know that it's probably good because it's getting sort of the impurities out of your skin, but sort of having to deal with the breakouts afterwards is never sort of a, a fun thing to do, I must say. And 
I kind of, my skin's are slightly better, so I wanted to give a mask a try. And this one's really cool because it's one that actually dries and you peel it off. And it smells nice. It smells just like sort of fresh and cucumbery. So I'm interested to see how that one goes. It says it clarifies and renews skin. And um, it's supposed to leave your skin smooth and silky. You apply it, apply it on your face, avoiding your eye area. Leave it for 5 to 10 minutes until it's dry. And then you actually peel it off and then rinse with warm water. So hopefully... That one will work well and I'm, I'm really looking forward to giving that a try because I just I like the idea of peel off mask for some reason it's really interesting to me so I'm really looking forward to trying that the next thing I got was a few makeup products so the first one was a Maybelline eye studio uh, I guess it's, it's kind of like one of those baked shadows sorry it's gonna be hard to see and it's sort of purple on one side and it's got a um, purple and peach swirl on the other so it's kind of like a mineralized skin finish one and I haven't tried any of the Maybelline eyeshadows like this there was a few different colors so I just wanted to give one a go just to see what the pigmentation was like and sort of how it works so I'll swatch it for you so there's the one side with the purple and then there's the other side with the purple and the peach which gives you like a it's almost like a pink color it's very light and you're probably not going to be able to see that because of the lighting. But as you can see, they're just really shimmery, really shiny. And in real life, they're quite pigmented. So I'm looking forward to sort of trying a few different eye looks with that. And they're very, very shimmery, very soft. So I actually, I really like this. So hopefully I'll, I'll come up with an eye look and maybe I'll use this in a tutorial. But yeah, it's really interesting. And I'm, I don't know, I was trying to think, there's only about four different color combinations there and this one was the most appealing to me but I might go back and check out the other ones out now that I can sort of see that the pigmentation was quite good. The next thing I got was a, was a Revlon quad and this one is the Revlon Illuminance Cream Shadows and in 710 Not Just Nude. So it's a whole group of nude cream eyeshadows and I've wanted to try this before but I wanted to try this particular quad and they were out in the store that I went to last time and then I actually, because I noticed them, I thought I'll get them this time, so I don't want to blind you with the mirror. But as you can see, there's four sort of nude cream shadows. There is a, a sort of pale, I guess it'd be almost your brow bone colour, skin colour, a lighter brown, a more sort of mid-tone chocolate brown and then a very dark brown. And they're very creamy. I started to swatch these before. I don't know if it's worth swatching them now because, like I said, the camera will probably blow out the colour. But I just, I really want to try, I don't have many cream eyeshadows, other than like, sort of like my NYX Jumbo eyeshadow pencils. So I just wanted to see what these were like and see what the finish was and see if they, if they will work as bases or whether I'll be able to do a look with them and see if it creases or not. Because it's kind of hard to tell with cream eyeshadows whether I'm going to have to sort of set them with another eyeshadow which kind of defeats the purpose of having the colour or whether um, I'll be able to wear them on their own but as you can see there's, so there's the darker colours towards lighter colours and they're just really nice sort of neutral everyday colours that I think will work really well and with probably most skin tones I think nudes are great for, for everyone so I'm interested to give these a try and they I, so far I think they they seem really great. They're very creamy and they're very blendable too. So I'm going to have this really dirty looking arm. But you can see they sort of blend out really well. The next thing I got was a Rimmel Color Rush Trio Eyeshadow. And it's in these green colours. It's going to be hard to see because they are actually quite light. If I can get this. I can't get it open. <laughs> so here we go. And as you can see, the colour is totally, totally out. I'm really going to have to work on my lighting. But yeah, so there's a, a really light colour, a lighter green, and then a sort of slightly darker green. And I originally bought this because I wanted to do a St. Patrick's Day eyeshadow look. And then I kind of ran out of time and I didn't get to film it. And now St. Patrick's Day has passed. So I don't know whether I'll do that. Maybe I'll keep it till next year. Maybe I'll just do a green eye look. But... I, I don't have met very many green eyeshadows and I actually quite like green so I'm interested to play around with this and the shadows are, are really nice 
very pigmented again you're probably not going to be able to see which is unfortunate but soft shadows and I actually haven't tried the Rimmel shadows before so I'm, I'm glad that I got this even if I didn't end up getting to do the St. Patrick's Day look just a couple more things sorry this is going longer than I thought it would be <laughs> definitely going to have to split this haul into two videos so I also picked up a Lano Lips lip ointment with colour with SPF 15. I've heard a lot about these but I've never actually seen them before in a store and then I was actually on a, a website called Addicted to Lip Balm which I like purchasing from, they're really good. Um, and I was going to purchase and then I didn't and then when I was in Priceline I happened to notice these. I don't know if they newly stocked or I've just never noticed them before. But I, I really want to give them a try because I've heard so much about their like medical grade moisturising and coming into uh, sort of autumn winter months as we are in Australia. My lips really dry out, although they dry out in summer as well. I do have a problem with dry lips, so I wanted to try these. And I, it's a really nice colour. This is in the colour Rhubarb. Sorry, I'm losing my voice. But the, the kind of interesting thing is that I noticed they don't really have a normal... Sorry. It's almost just like a squeeze tip. There's no sort of little lip applicator or sponge applicator or anything like that. So it's kind of like... I think you're supposed to almost squeeze it out onto your finger and rub it on. I did read one of the, the non-coloured ones and it the instructions actually said for you to squeeze it onto your finger, warm it up and then put it on your lip. So I'm guessing that maybe you're supposed to do this... Um, supposed to do the same thing with this one so that's kind of the only drawback that I don't know sometimes you don't always want to put the stuff on your finger and you kind of have to because it's the way it sort of squeezes out it's not really conducive to putting it on your lips so I am interested to try that and I, I do really really like that color so hopefully fingers crossed it'll be very moisturizing and um, yeah <laughs> two more things and then I'm done I promise so if you watch my vlog channel, you'll know that I've literally just finished my job and I'm starting a new job in a couple of days time. And I've been at my, my old job for four years, so I was kind of upset and I was feeling a little bit nostalgic. And when I was shopping, I saw Lip Smackers and it kind of reminded me of my childhood and I used to love Lip Smackers. I, I don't know, primary school, we had lip smackers and collecting lip smackers was such a a big not a massive part but a big part of my life and it's something that I really remember and like I said I was feeling nostalgic and I thought I'm just going to pick this up and this one is in watermelon which is just you know normal chapstick sort of pinky watermelon in color but lip smackers are really known for their smell and it just smells like watermelon it's just it's ridiculously nice so I got that and Probably not something I necessarily needed, but it was something that I really wanted, so Lip smackers it is and I don't think you can ever have too many chapsticks like I said about having dry lips I carry around chapsticks or the soft lips or my Maybelline baby lips I, and my pore ointment I carry around lip products everywhere if I go out and I don't, I'm not going to take any makeup I will still take some form of chapstick, so I really like that and last but not least, I purchased a perfume, and it is the CK Into You. Sorry, the gold box is, is shining. And I haven't smelt this before. I think it's been out for quite a while. But I was walking past, and they had it set up. And as you know, Priceline often has great sort of sales on perfumes. And this is the 100ml bottle here, as you can see. It's got like the lid like this. And this was on sale for $29.95, so it's a really, really cheap, quite frankly, in my opinion, for something that is for 100ml. So, as you can see, it's quite a big bottle, looks like about the length of my head, and it just smells really, really nice. I don't know why I hadn't smelt it before, but it's sort of got a... It's definitely got citrusy undertones, and I, I can't, like I said, I describe something as smelling green before, so I am the worst describer of smells but it's definitely got citrusy undertones and I don't know it's just really really nice so I really recommend checking that out if you're in Priceline like I said they do have some really great sales on perfumes and I think because this one has been out for a while $30 for 100 mils of perfume is great and it seems to last I sprayed it on my wrist and it sort of lasted quite a while I'm actually going to spray some on myself now but it um 
it, it is quite it's quite strong and it definitely lasted so if you're around in, in a perfume shop definitely check that one out because it smells really really nice <sighs> so that is it for all my purchases from the drugstore Priceline um, stay tuned for uh, part two where I have sort of another random haul of various bits and pieces. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions about any of the products or if you'd like to see them in a review or maybe used in a tutorial, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you like haul videos uh, by liking this video, giving it a thumbs up or in the comments below just so I know if you sort of want more of these videos or less of these videos. And other than that, I'm hoping you're having a really great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!